Hey there, my name is Provis, and welcome back to more Surviving Mars. Below and beyond, we are in New Ulm. How do we feel about this series so far? Well, it's certainly still trucking along. Um, we're a little bit behind where I want to be at this stage of the game. Our science, in particular, just is not keeping up, and as a result, we're not getting all the text that I need to really explore some of the new content, and perhaps just as importantly, terraform the planet. These natural disasters have been murdering me up to this point, so it would be really, really, really nice to be able to terraform this world and get rid of some of these. For example, if we were to research, uh, say, the greenhouse gas factory, raise the temperature of the planet, we'll never have to worry about the cold waves again, and once ice is able to thaw into water, we could set down lakes with this breakthrough tech, and it wouldn't even cost me any water to do so. And that would deal with the dust storms, right? The only problem, of course, with going for terraforming is it's a very energy and research intensive endeavor and we're already a bit behind par on research, so we'd be banking some resources and some research time with the hope that it ends up paying for itself just by getting rid of these dang natural disasters which have been slowing me down by quite a bit. Okay, these leaks are just completely unacceptable. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of that, for example. And we'll set up some new pipes. I wish there was an easier hotkey to make this work, but all right. Uh, we have machine parts over here, but no metals. That's actually a bit of a problem. Um, can I get you in range of this stockpile? The answer is yes. And then we can go ahead and get some of our water going again. Where else we have a leak? Oh, look, there's one over here. Well, it's already being fixed, so deleting it is technically faster still. But at this point, I guess I'll just go ahead and let it do its thing. We'll survive this no problem. It's just super annoying. Uh, let's also keep in mind we do have to get our lander away from the asteroid kind of like now. Uh, there's not a whole lot of time left to work. So, let's make sure we've gathered up pretty much all the materials we want. There's up to 25 exotic materials. I want to make sure we get our drones ready. And we don't have any prefabs that I can load up here, unfortunately. Nice as that would have been. So, we're going to go ahead and say we want to request all of this. Let's make sure they bring whatever is left. Um, they're currently stocking things up. We have to get out of here in the next 13 hours. That should be plenty of time to stockpile everything into the Rosetta. But let's keep an eye on this, because if we lose track of this and I lose this thing entirely, um, I'm going to feel real stinking stupid. Ten hours remaining, we are still mostly full. Just got a few more medals to get, and I think that's about it. Okay, everyone else is ready. I say we go ahead and return to Mars. Uh, yes, everything I already said. Okay, so we have already met our request, and off we go. Bye, asteroid! It was fun! Appreciate it! Mwah! Loved that. That was great. Let's go back to the underground, by the way. I will say I'm very frustrated with the underground so far. I feel like we should have made a lot more progress down here than we have. Part of the issue is I just don't know where I'm going until we actually take the time to go through here and start getting all of these tunnels lit up. It's very easy for me to lose track of where we want to be going, but there does appear to be another anomaly down over here for our destination where the tracks potentially terminate. So that event is still ongoing. We should get down here, clear out some cave-ins, and find out what the heck is happening. And I need to dedicate myself a bit on this underground. I like really need to get make, uh, micromanage the crud out of this. Another dredger has landed. Oh, good, okay. Uh, where else do we have more leaks? That's already been fixed. This power cable is a problem, but we're still making power. But I don't have any drones in the area, so no one's going to fix it unless I get in here and salvage this and rebuild it real quick. Of course, I accidentally clicked on the wrong thing, so now we have to build a pipe as well, but that only costs me a tiny bit, so who really cares? I really wish they would make um, repairing these things faster and more viable. It's not... It makes sense that it's a disaster if things are having a huge leak. It's just, it's always been a little exploitive in my opinion that in the game you could just delete those things and rebuild them much faster and cost yourself a lot less, you know what I mean? All right, we finished up with the behavioral shaping. I think that we did that specifically to reduce, yeah, sorry, to uh, get the sanatorium designed. So we should go ahead and build out another spire. Hey, this is fun. We haven't built a spire in a little while. All right, sanatorium, bring forth your sick and your mentally ill. We shall fix you all with state-led education. It'll be great. I do want to get another medium dome over here, by the way. Uh, partly for some research, partly because I'm not content with how bad our um, rare metals extraction has been up to this point. If we place over here, we would get access to the research site, and it is in range of both of the rare metals easily. 
So this seems like a really good place to be building up another dome, and I think we will do that. Not a pro uh, thing we need to work on this second, because while the dust storm's going, it's not like the shuttles will easily deliver anything, so why bother? But eventually it would be very useful. Uh, we still have two souls worth of water stored up. The good news is we've actually been storing so much water that we're actually going to handle this no problem. We're okay. Uh, let's see, the asteroid lander... Should already be on the way. It's uh, only visible from the asteroid screen. We've seen this before, so I wouldn't worry too much about this. It's just not going to show up on our um, tracker on Mars surface. Let's go back down to the underground and just see what's going on. So where are you right now? You are very slowly making your way. Let me guess. There was another cave in. There sure as heck was. Let's go ahead and try to clear some of these out. And Behemoth has moved out of range. But that shouldn't matter because we should still get our rocket. We just can't see it anymore. So I'm assuming, there it is, it's arrived. Okay, can't land during a dust storm, but we have a whole bunch of resources ready to go and 25 exotic minerals. Exotic minerals, ladies and gentlemen. It's so special and exotic. Let's see, what's going on over here as far as all of our workers? So we still got 15 people training up at the Martian University. We've graduated 99 people up to this point. You'd think we'd be in a much better spot than we apparently actually are. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and quickly get you reset, even though, yes, we did have somebody working on it. It's just much faster to do this. Boom, boom, bada, bada, boom. Uh, let's see. Have we cleared out the rocks? Okay, so this needs to be repaired. But you know what also needs to be done? We need to destroy another dredger. Yeah, we need to come here and destroy this. No dredgers allowed, dang it. I'm very happy that we are taking the, uh, the fight to the aliens. Now, here's another thought about terraforming, by the way. Recall, we got to see... Whoops, moved out of range. Yeah, that's fine. We got to see that uh, apparently, apparently, um, the alien dredgers are unable. I'm going to turn this off, by the way. I'm not going to waste any more electronics on this for a while. Um, the aliens are not able to land dredgers in oxygen-rich atmospheres, hence why they haven't appeared on Earth. You know what happens if we terraform the planet and convert the atmosphere to have lots of oxygen? The aliens get starved out and can't land anyway. It'd be perfect. This is the ultimate F U to the uh, to the aliens, I think. So if you guys don't mind me saying that. Oh no, we discovered something about the language. All right, let's see. Hang on, we did just get some more tech done. Um, what did we get? I don't even remember. All right, well we got something important, I'm sure. The language we've done in our science team has deciphered the so-called language of the Dredgers. Oh, that's what I was researching. Oh, got it. Each transmission consists of several desynchronized threads. Each of them sounds like cosmic static, but when combined in the right way, they form a pattern which can be translated to binary. The information transmitted by the dredgers is surprisingly simple. They share data regarding plotted courses, the status of their excavations, and the location of mineral-rich sites. We can identify the source of Coronis, as the dredgers do not use any call signs, but nevertheless, we are able to intercept their transmissions and predict the sites of future landings. So we'll have these marked on the maps in the future. What good is that? I mean, really, like, is it that important that we get to them that quickly? I guess. I don't know. Why are my workers so bad right now? I feel like we should have more people working in some of these areas. Like, why do we not have more people working in the network node? Are we really that low on population? I didn't think we were. It's just because we have 15 people that are constantly getting tied up in the Martian University. Yeah, we could reduce this a bit. And that would help, but I'm still really hoping to get more of these people trained up. I want more scientists, dang it. More science, always. We could have some night shifts, I guess. Um... The fact that we have non-botanists working in the farms and stuff, too, just makes me feel really upset. But the good news is we are producing lots and lots of food. I think our food niche issues have been solved for at least another 50 or so population. Oh, good lord. It's these non-Martian born who just can't handle the fact that there's a dang dust storm going on. We've already had to survive so many of these. Have a little bit of faith in me. Gosh. What is wrong with you people? So many things is the answer. So many things are wrong with these people. All right, let's go ahead and salvage that. Salvage that. There we go. And unfortunately, that does mean that we need to get some more power cables because this drone hub is shut down, but that'll be fine. Technically speaking, you really want to be minimizing how many cables and pipes you have as a general rule of gameplay for exactly these leakage reasons, you know? The less pipes there are, the easier it is to contain where they're going to be fixed up and so on. At least that is the idea. But, eh, whatever. All right, so we have finished with another dust storm. Excellent. Let's make sure we turn on all the fuel refineries once again. They need to be fixed up. We have some leaks, but we'll deal with that. Should be doing okay on water pretty soon, at least. So you should already be destroying this. That's good. You go and fix up this. 
As this uh, water extractor died, some renegades stole food. Do you even know how little I care about food at this point? You have no idea. Let's go ahead and land that. That's going to get me some more metals, some more polymers, and those exotic minerals. We actually need to make sure we have a place to store said exotic minerals. I'm going to place them right over here or something. I don't know. It's probably fine. All right, let's see. Building's not working, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we should go ahead and turn back on the polymer factory and the rare metals extractor because we don't have a whole lot of those resources left to go around. Don't care about recon, don't care about MDS lasers, and we have no polymers being delivered to the art store for some reason. Why? No, like, actually, why, though? We have plenty of polymers. They should be getting delivered. This is interesting. Hang on. So we got a surprising number of resources over here, and they really shouldn't be. Yeah, there's a lot of polymers being dropped off over there for some reason. There's a bunch over here, too, which there really shouldn't be. Yeah, I needed to have all of these delivered at some point as well. Um, these RC transports are going to deliver some more metals, but once done, I think we're going to go ahead and just pick up some of these piles, because that's a good 90 polymers we're not touching at the moment. Uh, let's see, we got 21 over there for some reason. They are delivering some over there. There's a tiny bit over here. Yeah, all of our polymers are in the wrong places. And I consider that to be unacceptable. Uh, any more planetary anomalies we want to do? Not at this point, nope. Hopefully we will find more at some point soon. Because I'd love to get some additional research and stuff. Way more power than I know what to do with at this point. Um, God, I really wish I could just select a whole bunch of these buildings and just turn them off. You know? Drag a box and go. Just so much simpler if that were the case. We can go ahead and turn a bunch of these off, though. There's no reason to have them. And they will self-clean themselves while turned off. So, yeah, they'll be fully ready to go the moment we need some emergency power. In the meantime, I'll just go ahead and turn everything off here. Okay. Looking solid, looking solid. Um, how are we doing down in the underground? Anything exciting down here? Well, we built some lights, and we've discovered a bunch of cavins. Yay! You're supposed to be set to automated mode, but apparently that does not count for things like cavins, because that would have been nice. Uh, let's make sure we set up a small dumping site somewhere near-ish by, and let's try to clear out some of these rocks, since we apparently have quite a few that are here in the way. Where's my researcher? You're over here. Are you unable to get to this area? It looks like the answer is yes. Okay, there are rocks in the way over there. Nothing we can do. We did find some rare metals down over here, as well as some underground water deposits with a load of water. That could all be nice. Let's make sure we set up a clear job somehow over here. Okay, apparently not. Hang on. Can I make you smaller? There we go. Clear out those rocks and clear a path through here. We can't because there's a light in the way. Gosh dang it. This has always been one of the things that's annoying about the placement of stuff like the lights. This light is preventing me from placing down any terraforming, which makes sense. Like, it's in the way. All right? It's in the way. I get it. But at the same time, come on. Throw me a bone here. You know what I'm asking you to do. Stop being so needlessly difficult. That's my opinion. So do we have people working over here in the rare metals extractor? Yeah, but very, very slowly, because for some reason, our population still just sucks. How are we doing as far as, like, children and stuff? We've got 12 children, so I know my birth rate is still doing its thing. We have children being born. It's just taking a very, very long time for anything to matter. Okay. I could use some more drone hubs. Um, I'm getting tired of having to automate some of these things with my drones. So what I think I'm going to do is just go ahead and launch a rocket back to Earth, spend some fuel. And we'll pick up some drone hubs, maybe a couple other prefabs or something else we might want. We might even want to go ahead and grab some more people. You know what? Yeah, there's no point in having both of these rockets. Send them both back to Earth. We need to pick up some more passengers. I hate having more Earth-born passengers. That's the only real problem that I can see with this. We really want as many Martian-born as possible. Because they are the ones who are going to... Hang on, let me find some leftover housing space because we got a problem. There we go. Uh, they are the ones who are going to be fine with the fact that they can work out in the surface. You know, they have no problem with things like that. Project Phoenix is done. Good. So when people die, there's a 50% chance we just resurrect them in a clone. So there we go. Hopefully that makes a big difference. I would really benefit from anything that gives me more comfort. Like decorations. Like rejuvenation treatment. And we could increase the birth rate at the medical center. Because I need births. Our population simply isn't growing fast enough for my tastes. So yes, I think that's the way to go. We do, however, have more Martian... No, 
Now, we still have more Earthborn than Martianborn. We're getting there. 72. It's not too bad. Violent Delights. Good lord. You're scary. Can someone please restrain this person. Jeez. Okay. Um, I also feel like the Martian University simply is too slow. We even have the technology to double the rate of graduation, and it's just, it's just slow. Oh, good. More Marsquakes. Hopefully nothing important happened down underground, because I'm sure as heck not going to deal with it right now. Still have too much power, by the way. Let's go ahead and just turn a few of these off. There's just no point in having some of these. Excess power does no good for me. Even though, for the most part, with maintenance being a thing, it's not that big a deal. These solar panels will take care of themselves, for the most part. Oh, right. We want to go pick up our polymers. Um, you actually are going to come over here, and we're going to turn off the automated, and actually you too. Let's, let's have both of them come over here. I need you to go and pick up everything here. Because apparently the shuttles can't do anything about that. And then go drop them off here. Okay? Likewise, you need to go pick up basically everything over here and bring them back. The only exception would be things like machine parts, but I think the shuttles will still take care of this for me because I just need to have a few hanging around to repair the elevator on demand. I'm also not even going to bother trying to repair the drone hub. We just don't need any of that. Polymers, concrete metals, turn these off. I don't see any reason to have this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this should get taken care of in due time. Good, 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 good. What do we need to build our medium dome? The medium dome is going to cost a bunch of concrete, some polymers, and some metals. Okay. That's not too bad. Um, we still haven't filled out the population of our current domes, so I guess you can make the argument that it's not worth building it yet for a while. Uh, simply because, why bother, right? We have to fill out space over here and take advantage of all the buildings I've already constructed. Why split the population and make things more complicated? And that's fair. That's fair. But, also, shut up. No, I'm kidding. You guys are smart. It's fine. You're smarter than me, probably, in a lot of ways. I have no doubt. Uh, we have people working in the network node. Finally, that's good. Emergency training is done, so security officers and medics are now a little bit better than they were. We're now working on resilient architecture, which is a high-level tech, but it's really good, requiring less maintenance. I mean, that's pretty solid. At the same time, would anything else be a higher priority for me? Well, we could get the fusion reactor, but it costs a lot of electronics to do that. Martian-born don't take sanity damage from disasters would be good, but 18,000 science is still a lot. And Martian-born not taking sanity damage from out-of-dome buildings. See, I need both of these badly, but they're too expensive at the moment. So anything that would improve comfort has to be a higher priority. Now, smart homes, uh, homes would do that. But they don't house as many people, and they cost electronics. So I'm going to say no to that as well. Oxygen production, not worried about that. Uh, water reclamation system wouldn't be bad, especially if I want to build a farming dome specifically. But we've been doing pretty good on water as of late, so I'm going to say that's not a high priority. All right, so tell you what. Let's go ahead and just do the greenhouse gases first. This is the most difficult part, getting the temperature up a reasonable amount. I mean, we want to get an atmosphere as well. Whoop. Okay, I think, I think we're safe here. Yeah, we're safe. Okay, that didn't do anything. Um, yeah, getting the atmosphere up is very important as well, but what I really care about is temperature more than anything. If we can just start getting some greenhouse gases, we'll be fine. Hey! You get out of here! Stupid dredger landing on my water source, taking all my water, which, by the way, we're starting to run low on. How dare you! Get him out of here! Go blow it up! Here come the drones! Or not. Only a... Nope, wait, where are you going? They're not coming. Here he... Get, 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 get him! There we go! Send in the drones! Yeah! Woo boo 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 boo! They're gonna get that thing. Be fine. So, is this just gonna be a thing for the rest of the game? Does this mystery never come to an end? Like, I'm, I'm actually asking the question, because I, 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 I try not to look these things up, but... Um, are we just gonna have to deal with dang dredgers all the time for the rest of the game? Because that would be more than a little bit annoying. How are we doing on polymer production? We are still producing quite a bit. The only problem with this is we are consuming a fair bit. Uh, the maintenance and consumption is very high. This is where I don't like the dang art store. I know it's good for getting comfort up, and comfort is important in order to get birth rates up. But gosh dang do they consume so many polymers. It's kind of ludicrous. Our machine parts... Yeah, we have only one person working there. No wonder we're getting so little. Electronics, at least, we're keeping up on, so that's good. Rare metals, still pathetic. Food, they're eating way faster than I expected them to, but 
I mean, we've got some pretty huge harvests on the way. So we'll be all right, I'm sure, right? Yeah, probably. Gosh, I really hope so. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, I don't know. We're doing all right. Our science is terrible again. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just outsource, spend some money. Why not? This is why we make money in the first place. Greenhouse gases will be done very soon. And greenhouse gases, I believe, takes fuel in order to start increasing the temperature. So if we go to terraforming, I probably want to build two of these. Uh, it does take a fair bit of power, but we could get another 0.5 temperature per soul if we do this. Yeah, I think this is what we want to do. I'm going to go ahead and place one and two, like so. Let's make sure we get a quick power cable set up like that. And there's fuel already nearby. We can increase the amount that we're naturally storing over here, since I don't need all of it for the rockets, and that's going to let us start pumping stuff out. At some point in the future, I might even consider placing down like a triple electric scrubber somewhere in this general vicinity. And we'll try to reduce the maintenance of this area, but... We don't have that tech yet, and it's simply not a high enough priority. 4.1 thousand science per soul. Okay, now we're starting to get somewhere, guys. Look at all the scientists. There we go. Hey! We've got full rosters! Yes! This is amazing! Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! This is good. Okay. And we're starting to get some botanists, too. Oh, freaking engineers. I will tell you right now, uh, from personal experience, engineers, not exactly the best at farming. <laughs> not exactly known to be the best at it. Um, we're really bad at things like machine parts, but all right, we're, we're, we're getting by. We're getting by. The important thing is now we're getting science. Now we're getting somewhere. A lot of my population is dedicated to this, but whatever it dang well takes, I will freaking take it. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, we have sanitariums. So this is going to take up some work shifts, you know, people who are going here. But what I really want to do is make sure we get rid of things like lazy I don't care about Gambler, although it does suck. I want to get rid of Coward, because we have double sanity loss whenever that's happening, and that's that's just terrible. Alcoholic? Yeah, I, I, I do think that this would be good to get rid of. But we could also just set this to auto and let it... So yeah, we'll prioritize Lazy and Coward. Right? That just makes sense. Because Lazy reduces performance by 20%. It's terrible. And then we'll have auto to take care of literally everything else. So yeah, I could have more people tossed in here. Um, and I guess I will. Simply for the purpose of trying to burn through this as fast as we can. But that does mean that's less people working some jobs that I need. So be aware that by putting this up, kind of like the Martian University, we are simply accepting that that's going to be less people for a bit. So nonetheless, nonetheless, getting rid of a lot of these traits is simply going to make my population that much better. We actually could... You know what? Maybe we don't want auto. And the reason we may not want auto... Is because I don't want, uh, if you have, let's say, Glutton, which is a thing I don't really care about that much, I don't want you even quitting your job to go work in the sanatorium. If I happen to have an excess of workers someday, sure. But maybe we don't want to do that. Maybe we do just want to get rid of... Alcoholic. Yeah. Get rid of Coward and Alcoholic, and that actually should deal with some of the people who were sitting in here. And now only people with these traits. So that means more people should be working at all times. I think. We could also change the filters here to try and encourage everybody with flaws to live in this particular dome to make sure they have a chance of going to the sanatorium, but nah, I think we'll be fine. And there we go. See, that's eight people that have either lazy, alcoholic, or coward. So it's really good that we're going to be getting rid of some of this. Right? Right? So I think that's solid. Um, I am tempted to get that water reclamation plant. How are we doing on water storage? We're full right now. Never mind. We're fine on that. Uh, I am surprisingly running out of some power. Alrighty. Don't can't don't salvage that. That doesn't make any sense. Let's go ahead and turn on a few more of these solar generators. I'm not sure why suddenly Oh, I know why I'm losing power. It's the dang greenhouse gases. Right, 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 right. Uh thoughts. Subsurface heaters. Oh, I should have placed these closer so I could have easily placed this within radius. I didn't even think about that. Alright, well when the time comes, uh, if we have another cold wave, I'll I'll work on that. In the meantime, we can see that the temperature of the planet is slowly increasing. An idle extractor. Goodbye, concrete. All right, that's fine. You are going to be double working. How much uh, concrete is left of this deposit? Not much. We are almost tapped out on some concrete. The good news is we can grab some over here. There's another 900 or so there. Gosh dang it! These freaking suicides? <sighs> what is going on with this? Party animal, hippie, rugged? I don't, I don't, I don't know what the issue is. Is it because there's no gaming? 
It seems like a lot of people are really, really upset that there's no gaming options. I mean, look, I understand. I love games as much as the next person, all right? I make a living doing this. But for real, get it together. My God. The thing is, like, we could fix this, right? We could go to an electronics store. But the consumption of one electronics per person is such an unbelievably penalizing cost. That's rare metals. That's electronics. It's almost never worth it, in my opinion. But maybe we have to do things like that. I don't know. Hey, question. Are there any planetary um, projects we could do that would increase the temperature of the planet? This would just do rare metals and stuff. No, we have not yet unlocked any of the orbital actions that would just increase the temperature of the planet by a lot. All right, we'll worry about that another time. Uh, let's go back to Earth. And in the cargo rocket, I think we want to go ahead and just buy some drone hubs. At least a couple. Anything else we feel like we really want? Not really. I don't feel like any of these are crucial. Did we research fuel refinery? Hang on. That actually is important. I need to know if we can build those. I think we can. Uh, it's under production. Fuel refinery. Yes, we can. Okay. So I don't need to do any of that. It's almost always better to just build things here uh, on Mars. Let's buy at least a couple of drone hubs. Anything else I feel like I need? I'm... I'm still slightly concerned about food, believe it or not. I don't really want to produce some more polymers. I think I would benefit from actually just buying some more drones. And I don't need any more RCs. Now, that's not all my cargo capacity, but I don't want to spend too much more money. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then as far as passengers, hey, look, we've got a lot of people. Melancholic, party animal, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Hypochondriac, rugged, fit, hippie. Can we go to the filter, and is there any other flaws that we really want to just get rid of? We're already getting rid of most of the ones we want. You know what I do want to do? I want to go to quirks. No, not quirks. Perks? Gamer. No more gamers, please. I'm done with that. No more gamers. All right. I don't feel like I need to go through too much more of this. I think this should all be completely fine. Let's go ahead and launch 22 more people. And yeah, we don't have enough housing. That is easily solved simply by placing down a few more of these apartment buildings. I'm going to go ahead and do that now, knowing that this is going to relocate a handful of folks, and it does tend to upset some folks, but we kind of need to get some space. So let's just go ahead and do that. There we go. More apartments going in there. Should be able to build it pretty quickly. Uh, I'd like to also get rid of everyone working over here. We'll place down another apartment in just a moment. Need some housing, dang it. I need more housing. Yes, yes, we've got homeless population and it's a problem. I understand. We'll fix it soon enough. Don't worry. High priority apartments. They're going to be lovely. Lovely condos. As far as the eye can see. All right. Okay, so this one just needs one more concrete delivered. Come on, drones. You guys are so slow. This is why I'm buying some drones. I feel like we just don't have enough logistic support in our main base. All right, so the apartments are going up and that solves the housing crisis. Okay. And with 36 more housing, we're good to go for a while. Uh, how about we get rid of this living complex as well now? Place that with another apartment complex. Come on. Just go ahead and demolish that. Thank you. How are we doing on food? 200. I'm definitely watching our food go up. We're okay. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on a few more of these solar plants, since apparently I am not producing enough power during the day. I mean, we're close to full, so it's not like it's hurting me that much. Yeah, we do need at least a few of these. I'm worried about this water, by the way. If we run out of water, we're going to have a problem. We're going to have a serious problem. But okay, we're good on life support. We're making 4,000 science per day with the outsourcing. So this is all great. The genius colonists are certainly helping. We are mostly done with resilient architecture, which is going to reduce my maintenance costs by a lot. That's great. Then we're going to focus heavily on the comfort, as well as the birth rates, to try and start getting more Martian born. After that, we have to decide, do we want to go ahead and start focusing on getting the Martian-born perks over here? And I think the answer is yes, even though I know they do take a lot of science. If we're going to have, in fact, I would even say that it's a higher priority than the birth rate. Because if we already have a lot of Martian-borns, I just want to make sure that these guys can work out of the dome. We stop having so many suicides. It's really a problem. It constantly is hurting me at this point. Let's also consider um, where we can get things like getting atmosphere generated. Um... There it is. Carbonate processor. 14,000 science still. Good lord. All right. Forget it. This is what we're going to go for for now. We do want to work on an atmosphere. It's going to take a while. 
eventually the atmosphere becomes such a problem we're gonna have to get the magnetic field generators and this truly does cost a lot terraforming is not a small initiative I think, I think that simply the uh, heat is the best we're going to be able to do for at least a little while. Alrighty, well, I'm going to end this video here, but thank you all very much for watching. And by the way, thank you guys for the support you guys have been showing so far for the series. It's been very encouraging for me. Be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.